when it comes to smartphone filmmaking, there are tons of apps available in App Store. However, there is one app which always comes on top. It's the Filmic Pro app, which has been used to shoot many famous smartphone projects, including some feature length films. But its only problem is the pricing. This app is expensive, especially now as they have moved to subscription-based pricing model. But now there is a new app that is even better than Filmic Pro in terms of professional feature. And this app can turn your smartphone into a serious production ready cinema camera. This app comes with some very unique never before seen features. Hi everyone, my name is Tarun and I'm a full time DOP. On this channel, I made videos related to photography, filmmaking and gear reviews. So if you are into it, please consider subscribing and don't forget to press the like button. But I want to clarify that this app has currently been launched for iOS devices only. So if you are an Android user, you can leave this video. However, I would urge you to watch this video to be aware of the capability of this app because I'm sure it will be launched for Android devices soon as the quite a lot of people are registering their interest to the developer. Now, the name of this app is Blackmagic Cam and as the name suggests, it's been developed by the legendary Blackmagic Design Company who are famous for their cinema cameras. This app is completely free and loads with ton of serious filmmaking features. If we look at the app's interface, you will realize that Blackmagic Design has implemented its simplistic design policy in this app. In the top section, you will see your current camera setting, for example, which lens you are shooting with, FPS, your shutter speed, time code, ISO, white balance, resolution, etc. etc. You, can you can change any of this parameter by just tapping on them. Now looking at the bottom, there is an RGB histogram to monitor your exposure. There is also a storage indicator which shows how, mu how much storage you have left in your phone along with how many minutes or hours of footage you can record in that storage. And towards the right, there is an audio level indicator. Now moving on to the right hand side, first icon is like a production slate. It is a production slate where you can enter your production information like production name, camera information, director, DP name, etc. And when you move on to next page, you can enter the scene detail, shot detail, take detail, interior, exterior, good takes. And the best part is that all of this can be saved into the metadata of the video, which can be viewed inside the app. So it can really help in post production. This magnification icon is to control your zoom level. As I'm using iPhone 13 mini in this video, which does not have any significant built-in stabilization, this app gives you three modes of stabilization. And in my experience, they are good and usable, especially in this particular phone. Next is the record button that is self-explanatory. And if you move forward, this option is for exposure adjustment. So you can adjust your exposure with this button. Next is the focus mode, which you can use to toggle between auto and manual focusing. And last is the assist feature toggle. And you get tons of assist feature in this app. First is zebra option and you can manually set the peaking level in the zebra. Next is focus peaking option and in setting mode, you can change the peaking intensity as well as the colors. Then we have some composition guides like rule of third. Moving forward, we have some framing aid like if you want to shoot with a black bar, you can utilize the framing or maybe you want to cut out some vertical frame, you get that option as well here. Next is custom frame and I really don't know what it is used for yet. So in case if you know this feature, please let me know by commenting below in this video. Next is a false color, which is extremely useful in setting the right exposure of your scene. And this is the one feature I can't live without. And the last option is the LUT support. You can upload your favorite LUTs on this app and then use them to monitor your footage. Once uploaded in this app, you can enable or disable the LUT and expose your footage correctly as per your LUT. Blackmagic has also deployed a very innovative one hand operation mode in this app where you can shoot 16 by 9 video by using just one hand. In this mode, you can control almost all the camera controls with one hand. 
This mode can be really helpful when you want to look like a regular person in a crowd shooting a regular video rather than attracting the attention. It's a clever feature given by Blackmagic Design. Also, there are a few very unique features about this app which you can't even find in some of the very high specs mirrorless cameras like FX3. If you go in setting and under the record tab, now you can see you can record in Apple ProRes 444, which is a highest quality codec. It's not even present in most of the mirrorless camera like FX3 or R5. But keep in mind, since it's a highest quality, it takes a lot of space. For example, just one minute of 4K25 clip in ProRes 444 would be around 8 GBs of footage. But don't worry, as we have many lighter variants of ProRes also available in this app, which can help you in capturing highest quality of video without sacrificing too much of space. So here you can see two shots, one shot with a native cam and one shot with a black magic camera. Now from here, both the shots are looking similar but when you zoom into the clip and especially you look in the sky you will see that the tones are really better in black magic camera as compared to native cam and that's the magic of prores 444 now if we go into the camera and click on the shutter measurement you can see that we also have shutter angle support that is just amazing i don't remember if any mirrorless camera brand put this feature except for panasonic this is such an important feature and i'm really glad to see it here with this feature, all you have to do is just to set your shutter angle to 180 degree and then you can change your FPS to anything without worrying about changing your shutter speed. You will find this feature in all the serious professional cinema cameras. There is also an option to send the clip directly to the DaVinci Resolve Project Media Library with Blackmagic Cloud Service. It's a paid service though, but it can instantly drop your clip into DaVinci Resolve Project anywhere in the world, which can make it really fast for an editor to start working on your clip as soon as they are shot. There are tons of pro quality audio features, which as a DOP I don't understand, but I'm sure they are really helpful for a professional sound person. Color space selection between Rec. 709, BT2020 and p 3 d65 you can also attach an hdmi monitor with the help of lightning to hdmi connector and monitor your clip in a big screen and the last thing i would like to highlight here about the anamorphic lens shooting in this app you can shoot anamorphic using different kind of d squeeze level and make your phone clip look like a hollywood blockbuster and yes, you can get lots of anamorphic lenses for your smartphone. I will mention the link in the description just in case if you are interested. This app is launched just two days back and I'm really excited to see what Blackmagic is going to do with this in future with their innovative updates. Right now there is no log profile. However, I'm sure the Blackmagic would be working on it and soon we are going to see lots of log option. Apart from that, I can also feel that their Blackmagic can also add a gyro export option with the clip which can help us in stabilize our smartphone footage using softwares like Gyroflow or DaVinci Resolve. This can be a helpful feature and I think there is a lot Blackmagic can do with their updates. I still can't believe that this app is free. Let me know what you think about this app and if you like this video please don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon with my next one. Till then, you take care. Bye-bye.